Good morning, I'm going to be doing a stamper stack using the Balloon Celebration stamp set. So this is just a set of cards that you can easily create at home using the cards, um, the card colours and the inks that you have at your disposal. So the first thing that I'm going to do is stamp my sentiment in stays on and I'm doing it so that I can have an idea of where to pl place my balloons and now don't forget when you're using stays on you want to clean it off with your stays on cleaner so I'm starting with my lightest colour first and I'm using So Saffron and I'm going to stamp each colour twice. Just making sure you get a thorough cleaning of your stamp between um, colours. So actually if you're going to do this as a stamper stack as a class, it's not really a good um, card to do as a class. Whenever I do classes, I try to make sure they don't have to use the same same stamp um, twice because what I find is that they generally don't clean it very well or someone will clean it well and then the other person won't. So what I try to do is make sure that I don't have to share the colours and I don't have to share the same stamped image unless I'm using a sentiment where the sentiment can be stamped in black the whole way through because you'll find that you'll end up with soiled ink pads or very dirty um, cards and your customers aren't going to be very happy with those. So this particular design I've actually um, lifted this from someone online um, and I saw it in a, um, it might be Kathy Cairns I'm not sure now. But I just thought it was a super simple, super effective card to make um, for a stamper stack or just when you want to mass produce cards and you don't have very much time. So it also depends how you run your stamper stacks. Um, I have been encouraging my ladies, I used to run my stamper stacks where I provided everything for them. And you know, that just started to become very, very expensive for me and not that worth my time. So, um, I one year I decided that I would give my ladies some glue as a Christmas present and what that meant then is that I then started to expect them to bring it and other supplies for class and that just kind of then set the, um, the idea in their head 
of just purchasing little supplies as they go along. So now I ask them to bring things like their rhinestones and um, all their adhesives, their dimensionals, those kinds of things. Because you know there's always one or two people in your class who always have to use 20,000 dimensionals rather than just the three that you need. So this is my first little um, card using the balloon celebrations and I'll now move on to my next card. So this next one is another birthday card. And I'm going to use the brights this time. I might just pop that up out of the way. So again, I'm going to stamp with um, Happy Birthday, the sentiment first on. Now, of course you could do this with any sentiment. I'm just trying to do a demonstration of using just, just the one set. Okay, the next card I'm going to make, I'm actually going to be using this one, but the first two are being made with the balloon. So I'm going to now stamp the the purple one. I like this rich raspberry. Oh dear. Clean that off. Oh. And Bermuda Bay, so probably Bermuda Bay is my favourite Stampin' Up! colour. Now I do find that with Rich Razzleberry, actually most of the purples, they're quite hard to clean off. So I often just use a wipe. So getting Bermuda Bay out now. I don't know how what clean that is looking through it because they always stain pink, um, a bit pinky see they stain pinky it looked like it had um, a purple tinge to it still so I was a little bit nervous that it would be a bit purpley oh that was fine okay so I'm just going to quickly clean those off clean clean Okay, now for the lining up bit where you're going to get my head in, in the video a little bit. Apologies, apologies. So, I'm going over with stays on. You could use um, Memento. the reality it doesn't need to be perfect it's kind of the arty look sorry for the head enjoy my gray hairs okay pop that one out of the way Ooh, I don't think that oh I was gonna say I didn't think I lined that up very well but look it's perfect Okay, so get my stays on cleaner, stays on cleaner, and look, 
I know people are really particular about their stamps and they like to do clean the stays on off straight away but stamp look stampin up stamps are of such high quality and um, yes yeah, so as I was saying before my phone rang <laughs> I um, D don't expect that I'm going to have those stamps now I now I'm looking at that and I don't know that I like it with the white edge around so I don't mind about not cleaning my stamps off straight away for me it's a time management issue I sometimes just like to just stamp create and then do the cleanup afterwards so that I stay in the flow of everything if you know what I mean okay and because my snips aren't on my desk these scissors it's funny I never thought when I first started with Stampin' Up, I didn't think, oh, gee, why would you buy those paper scissors? And I, then I used one of my customers one time, and oh my goodness, they were the best scissors that I had um, ever used for doing fussy cutting for trim. They, because they cut right to the point of the scissors. And... Um, then it was hilarious I bought a pair my husband used them and he models trains and he went oh these are the best scissors ever and he kept stealing them and I said oi if you want to use my scissors so I should go and find mine because this is really quite frustrating if you want to use my scissors you need to go and you need to buy some off me so he went fine I won't I won't use them and then he went back to using his other scissors and he went okay I actually need to buy your scissors <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny anyway so there's my um, second card really similar design just popped up a bit adding this um the starry detail i think adds a nice touch so i'll um load up the i'll get on to making one with this little wheel shape a bit more of a masculine card okay so the last video in balloon celebrations that i'm going to do is using um this image so this one just here um, and trying to make a little bit more of a masculine type card. So I've got Marina Mist, Dapper Denim and So Saffron. I'll just open those all up. I'm using the Happy Birthday sentiment out of Sunshine Sayings. So just that one there. So because I'm using this same wheel type design over and over again I'm just going to put a wipe here of course you could use your um, what's it called stamp and scrub what's it called good one um, but I just want to make sure it's really clean and sometimes especially like I know that I've used um, getting ready for my retreat my um what's the color oh, it's one of my favorite colors why can't i remember its name um it's a purpley one ah oh, rich razzleberry so i've used rich razzleberry quite a lot and i don't want to um run the risk of it um, the the red tones that get um, trapped in the um, what's it called 
I don't want to run the risk of the red tones that are trapped in the stamp and scrub just because I have not had time to clean it you know if you clean it properly I'm just run off my feet I mean look it seriously it takes two minutes everyone's got time for two minutes I'm just making excuses really everybody's got time for two minutes why am I not being able to stamp that ah, look I must be seeing that or I must have positioned my stamp sticker on the not quite center okay so what I want to do now is I've got this little star and it was so funny the other day I was saying to the kids you used that when you were making um, Christmas cards and now I can't find it and Jessica says oh you mean this one so it was not um, it was not lost it just was not put away properly whether that was her or one of the other kids I have no idea and you know December was quite a few months ago so it's not like I have really needed it in the time but um because it's just such a tiny little stamp it got a bit lost in my things So th there was a lady on, um, oh, I think I saw a variation of this card on Pinterest and the lady was um, from Magical, Magical, oh, I can't even remember now, gee, memory, bad memory, can I use the excuse that I've been up really early this morning and I've I did exercise with my children we went to park run and my little girl nine my little girl my second eldest girl um, did a uh, well all um, three of the four girls did PB's personal best at park run um, but Jessica got in got her um, PB was down to 30 30 minutes 33 so that's pretty awesome so for a nine year nine year old so this is my kind of masculine take really quick for a stamper stack just um, a nice beautiful card so you could do this with any color variations I think the one that I saw had grays and um, like old olive and Oh, what is that? It's a ready colour, like maybe Watermelon Wonder was the colour. So I'll just move those out of the way. And I'll bring back in the ones that I've made for you. Here, whoops, that was, Jessica made that one for a friend's birthday that's today. So, and this one. That's wiggle them over okay so some nice cards all using that set and then this one on top so this one I've just used the punch to punch that out so they've all used apart from this one that used the um, sunshine sayings they all used only the supplies from birthday celebration I just found that the the font here was a bit too girly for a masculine card. I don't know. That might just be me. So, look, Jessica made that one. That's another example of um, a card using birthday cel balloon celebrations. And they're the ones that I've shown in the video. So I hope, hope you've enjoyed my... Um, cards even though you've had to listen to me ramble remember if you want to purchase anything um, you can purchase from uh, stampinamity.com.au and make sure you click, click subscribe and like to my channel thanks bye